In year eight, we have studied a number of poems written in wartime. Poems written by soldiers who saw action in the trenches and battlefields of World War I. We have written our own poems and drawn scenes in charcoal to accompany them. Today, in remembrance of all fallen lives, we would like to share our work. Anticipating the coming glory, our boys raced to sign up. We arrived with buckets of hope, erupting with roars of cheers. If only they knew the terror of fear. Waiting with rifles in hand, spirits high, but new boys hesitate, scared for their life. Trudging through the dull legion muck, it stank old and sour. Screaming, hands on triggers, trying to be a killer, let me stop. We all heard the whistle, up and over boys. In seconds, we were running, whiz bangs flew overhead, every heart filled with dread. Blurs of bullets whizzed through the air, shells sliced through the charcoal sky. Smoke from the fiery orange flares drowned in croaky battle cries. It's an attack, mere children scrambling to load their guns, yet I was left fumbling. A calamity of disarray, a symphony of shrieks, the stench of gore and fear, as under a sea of brown, all were drowning, choking in this hell and hell. An avalanche of bullets pummeled down on us. Guns blazed, hearts raced, half of the lads glazed. At this rate, none of us going to make it back. I screamed and screeched for my lost brothers, but all my yells were drowned. I'm starting to lose control. I've seen my comrades come and go. My fate has already been foretold. I know what shall become of me. This is where I shall die. A mist shrouding the fields. Men below me meeting my fate, and my heart is finally at peace. Up here, all evil is lost. Those I fought, I did not hate. Those I stood with, I did not love. Is this what freedom really feels like? We are the dead, short days back. We lived in constant fear of attack. Under a blanket of choking green gas, we dropped as one English mass. And now we lie still. The undaunted soldiers died. Children back home cried. Bullets penetrated through soldiers' bones as alliances were condoned. He was only 17 years. If you could imagine the faces of the dead, things that stop, things left unsaid. My companion, you would not lie to those longing for fame, to fight and die to protect our country's name. We all echo our Father's prayer. Deliver us from evil and misery, for thine is the country's kingdom, the power, the glory, and love, forever and ever. Amen.